Hi, my name is Dr. Rebecca Johnson. I am from the University of North Texas Health Science Center. I'd like to say a few words about the project we worked on, SRB1 Directed Therapy Against Triple Negative Breast Cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is one of the most difficult malignancies to treat that disproportionately impacts African American women. Current treatment approaches for TNBC have met with limited success as one of the more effective therapies involving anthracycline drugs is associated with substantial side effects. We developed an alternative chemotherapeutic approach that has shown promise against cancer models. In this communication, we explore the potential of our reconstituted high-density lipoprotein nanoparticle against TNBC cells. The normal role of HDL, the good cholesterol carrier, is to transport cholesterol to the liver, primarily through the SRB1 receptor. We developed reconstituted synthetic HDL nanoparticles, which we call RHDL, that resemble the native lipoprotein with the exception that the inner region of the RHDL contains primarily an anti-cancer agent instead of cholesterol ester. We used the drugs valrubicin and lapatinib carrying nanoparticles in this study. Because malignant cells and tumors overexpress the SRB1 receptor, we can employ a Trojan horse strategy against cancer cells and tumors. Because of the presence of SRB1 receptor on the surface of most cancer cells and tumors, a tumor selective drug delivery system has emerged that protects normal cells and tissues against damaging chemotherapeutic side effects. The findings of this study with MDA MB231 cells supports our drug delivery hypothesis. In this next figure, the expression of SRB1 receptor in MDA MB231 cells far exceeds that in the cardiomyocytes. Accordingly, the cytotoxicity of both valrubicin and lipatinib were markedly different toward the malignant MDA MB231 cells versus the cardiomyocyte cell line, depending upon whether the free drug or the drug RHDL complex was used. Accordingly, the uptake of valrubicin from the RHDL drug complex by the MDA MB231 cancer cells was dependent upon the SRB1 receptor, while the uptake of free valrubicin was not. So in conclusion, we are optimistic that the additional preclinical and toxicology studies will allow this promising therapeutic approach to be tested in clinical trials.